just before, we gotta take all these badges off. We want to completely debadge it. Probably gonna be the first thing we do. Get that knocked out. Start winding up the amps. <clears throat> well, just one amp is not getting any highs. Then build the speaker box, cover plate. So, y'all stay tuned. Yep. Wide body cannot go wrong with that. We got all the badges off, cleaned it up. I can't remember if he wanted this one off or not. I had to call him and ask him to double check. But I'm pretty sure he wants it off there. All right, on to the next. I'm gonna be designing the box. For 212s, uh, 1500 watt amp. Of course, you know, wiring kit, cover panel, underglow. So, it's getting a pretty decent amount of stuff done. <clears throat> I'll be back with the next clip. Right, so we got pretty much all the wiring wired up. Got the line, line out converter, ran to the uh, factory subs that he has in here. He does have the upgraded sound package on here. Comes with the two eights in the back. Sounds pretty decent for a factory setup, but uh, definitely gotta go with more bass. So, like I said, the two twelves we got. I'll show you all those in a second. Uh, gonna be a lot louder, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up adding. Uh, some highs but like i said he's got an upgraded system so it's possible that they keep up with him we'll find out but uh ran the high wire the fuse uh got everything nice knee ran to the seat to the amp once the, the amp is under that flap i gotta flip that down and uh, mount it down rca wire 
uh, ground, you know, and all that. That's just the speaker wire. Once I uh, put the speakers in, I cut it down, make it look neat. So, let's roll that. The box, about to build that, put it together really. I've already got it cut. And then, cover print hole, the fun part. So, stay tuned. All right, these are the subs we're going with. SDR12 SCAR Audio. Brand new in the box. See what they're looking like. I've used these before. Definitely get you some good sound out of these. Packaging. Going in the box. <laughs> Cut the holes out. It's going in the box, wrap it up. Got the vinyl for it. On a late night grind tonight, baby. To be honest, it's about four o'clock in the morning. I had some uh, other stuff I had to do. Uh, but so much going on. Uh, client, he's been really cool. He wasn't really tripping about the time frame. Uh, so, all right, y'all know how it gets done. We got the box in here. Sounds great, as usual. Uh, we got it ported. Uh, we got the two scar, like I said. Uh, dual four ohm, wired down to one ohm on a 1500 watt amp. Uh, I went to the fabric shop. I got some, uh, like I said, I got this vinyl. Matches the car pretty decently, to be honest. Uh, so. Now that I got the box in there, wrapped, speakers in there, everything's good, amp's good. Uh, got the speak, speaker box mounted down. You know, this is a fast car, so you always wanna make sure you mount the box securely so it doesn't slide all over the place, fall down, do all that extra stuff. So now, you got the, uh, like I said, I always do the trim around here. You know, you could add your lights in here. Uh, I'm gonna paint that black here in a second. You know, get that blacked out. Uh, and then we're on to the next right here. I will be starting a cover panel, sides, and then I got some special coming across the top. Uh, so stay tuned as we get through this build. Top in there, just gotta trim it down a little bit. <clears throat> Front edge, trim it down. Now working on the side pieces to fill in these gaps. Cardboard is always my best friend. So basically, got my ruler, put it right there straight across, measure how far over. So I get this box, 
that's pretty much where I need to cut out, but obviously that's not a box shape. So I have a tool that helps me figure this out. So this 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 is the tool. So basically put it up against here. It's hard to do it with one hand, but I'll try my best. And boom. Gives me my angle. Go lay this down. Put this on here. On the bottom up. And then, then give me a sharpie. Draw this line, cut the cardboard, and see how it fits. So let's try this out real quick. So I traced it on there. That exact contour that's on that little tool. Let's see. Slide it over. Boom. Perfect. Now I got to do the contour at the top, and then. Give me a design going on over here. Yes, indeed. All right, so we did the same thing with the top. Got that contour in there. Cardboard, best friend. All we gotta do is trace it out on the wood. This section right here, don't mind this. This is all gonna flow together, come together with what I got going on with it. So let me go cut this piece out. And we're gonna do this side real quick. It's coming together quickly. All right, so we got the cardboard in just for chest fitting purposes. Uh, all the gaps are gonna be filled in. Uh, said this trim, I'm gonna come up with something probably to flow with this, this line, have it flow to that corner on both sides. And then, uh, have something to come straight across here like that with some images. So that's the plan. It's coming together though quickly. Stay tuned. All right, we got the sides in. Got them routed. Routed, hit, dusty. Jeez. Routed, routed. Now we're gonna try to fill in some gaps right here. Flush trim this. And then I got one more piece I'm gonna add. Puts across. It's gonna be the final touch. This is where we're at right now, though. What you got to say, man? Well, once again, I got my hand in the picture. Yes, guys. You like that, dude? What you got today, Mr. Ken? The death plates. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah. Be all in his face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the food, look like you Come on like together. Come on. this piece on here where we want it like I said this is a bond I was talking about adding so that this gives it a little bit more custom look it's not just a piece of wood just sitting on top um, I think it still would have looked good but doing it this way like I said I think it gives a little bit more uh, you know detail to it um, the reason I got this tape here is mainly for the spacing Cause I have two uh, pieces of double stick tape in between, you know, pretty much all the way around here where the bondo is. Kind of see right there, but uh, got two two uh, two layers, which is about the same amount as the fabric, uh, vinyl fabric that I wrap it with. So I get the space for that. Then I put the masking tape over that, so that way when I am done, it's easy to pull up. So not really that stuck or jammed in there. So 
that's the reason for that. So now, key is to try to lay the bondo as smooth as possible so you don't have to do a lot of sanding. Uh, right here, I was still trying to smooth it out and it got kind of started getting hard on me, so that's the only part that's kind of janky, but for the most part, everything else is pretty much pretty smooth how I want it, so I probably won't have to do another layer. Just sand it smooth, peel this piece out, wrap it, then wrap these two side pieces separately. Uh, I'm already wrapping the front cover panel, which I'll show you that in a second. Uh, my little wood room is buried in the mug right now. I've been in here grinding. Yeah, this, Jesus. Haven't had time to clean up. Yep. It is a mess. It's all good though. Uh, got my boy Kyle in the shop. As you know, partnered up with DGK, you know. We both work at the shop here. He does the lighting and everything like that. His wife has DGK wraps. They do uh, car wraps as well, slew shots. Uh, this one's getting ring lights on it. I'm doing the audio on this one as well. Of course, you know, this one I'm doing the underglow. And uh, right now this is the front lid, I'm wrapping it. So that'll be done. Box is done, wrapped in the front. Uh, like I said, I always do this trim piece. It goes in here. Uh, I got the lights. Well, this ain't strip, that's too short. But I got the lights uh, already cut. So I'm about to solder those up. We finished out of day, really. Try to get the customer's reaction, like I said. His name is Mopar Marcus on Instagram. We should make him some decals, put his Instagram on there. But I'm gonna put his description down in there so y'all can check him out. See all, what he all does to this, uh, for his build, the rest of his build. He's got motor work coming. Make it even faster. Uh, like I said, he's got some wrap. He's gonna add to it. He's gonna come back and get the stars and the headliner as well. So, like I said, y'all gonna probably be seeing this car a lot more. So, all right. Got this panel wrapped. Looking good. Nice and smooth, neat. So now, after the bondo on those other pieces, I'm gonna wrap those up. Home stretch, baby. All right, wrapping up these last pieces. Flip them over. Shoot that glue on these back edges. Those will be done. Put them in the side piece, put them on the sides. And the last piece I got to wrap is going to be the bridge with the images in it. So, almost done. Almost done. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like as far as what, like the, what if they were? Before I even meet up, I already know what condition. I'm like, I got the pictures first. Uh, I, I found a connect. Oh, good connect. Did you take them? No, they're they're uh, no, no. They're they're no. Do you know the UA factory? Yeah, yeah. We talk about this in a little bit. Yeah. All right, got the underglow glowing. You heard me. Full strip. You know what I'm saying. Back tire to front tire, full glow. 
Yes, indeed. Look at that. Trunk. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, where's the remote? Oh. The remote control. Gosh darn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't have the bar across here because the uh, graphic shop took it, well, kept it because they were uh, measuring for the images that I told you I was going to put on there. So right now, this is, you know, just the glow. Really not here to play with these boys, you know what I'm saying? So, going to have lights here, lights across the bridge. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be going. Almost done. Car's going to be ready to pick up tomorrow. Yes, indeed. This is without the bar. Bar is at the uh, image shop so they can size the uh, pictures in, into it. So... This is just the lights, uh, you know, of course, they do all the, the magic. So the box, <clears throat> it's got lights in here and it's gonna have lights across the other part too. So, yes indeed. And then we got your underglow too. Full glow, back tie to front tie. You can hook that up to an app, change all your colors out and everything like that. So. All right, here we go. Finished up the car. The trunk is done. Let's see. Yeah. Nice inside. He's got the uh, covers, you know. Like I said, this is the theme character of his car. And this is the trunk. That's what I came up with. So, got the images in there. Nice clean setup. It's got lights. Uh, lights in here. All around. It's got lights in here. Uh, we also did underglow. Um, put everything on the kill switch. Right down here, I turned the underglow on. I turned the lights on the, on the inside. See them right now, oh, they're red, yeah. It was red in there, it goes red, red in there, really, whatever color, honestly. But that's yes, indeed. All right. Another video inside the garage. I was checking out the lights. The images came out nice and clear. Some heat. Nice clean setup. Like I said, we got the underglow. Nice, everything's on the kill switch. Got a base knob right there. So, like I said, my boy Mo Pro Marcus, check him out. Gotta go take it to the car wash, get it cleaned up, you know, but it's all good. Like I said, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm gonna start posting more videos again. Uh, so basically just stay tuned, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the uh, details.
to my boy Instagram. So y'all can go check him out too as well. Uh, go to my Instagram, Rhino Customs. Check it out. Uh, the next client. What's going on, man? Good. What's up, man? Oh yeah. Let me see it. I ain't, I ain't seen nothing yet. Let me see it. Hey, What's up? So. Oh, oh, that's nice. That. Oh. So. I oh, like look it. at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Look at she all sexy right now. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so, I like it. Try to get you, you know. You said she's the blood. <laughs> so I just got the little vial with the blood in it on that one. And then. Yes, indeed. Look at my sexy guy. He got the right one. Yeah, I was trying to put that one. Yeah, a little more skin. Right one in the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little more skin in the. Uh, I like how you cut it. Cool. Yeah, I try to put a little contrast on it. So. It look good. So. Son of a bitch. <sighs> like I said, I know y'all remember this one. Let's see this one like. Husband and wife duo. Just got his done. She came in first. Still looking good. Yes, indeed. Customs, baby. 